there he is. Oh, pity. Hey, mate. Hey. Mind, mind if I join you? Cut yourself. Jeez, mate. I wasn't going to share it, but you can have it. Lovely to be here with you, brother. Congrats on your wonderful career. 71 tests. Um, from William Wairua and the rest of New Zealand, we want to give you a special gift. Ooh, there you go. Are these uh, brain spankers? These are brain spankers. Embrace. Enjoy. Full of Wairua, full of Wairua. There, there they are. Looking right. sharp now, brother. Well, we. Well, we. So, brother, you're retired now. What have you been up to? Well, as you can see, cuz, tucking in some good old apple pie. And it was bloody tasty, to, to <laughs> tell you the truth, mate. Nah, I've just been doing a bit of diving and hunting and spent a bit of time playing for water up a bush uh, oh, to finish the career off. And uh, yeah, happy that's done with uh, that chapter of my life. And A little bit sad. Well, there's a, I was holding back a few tears. I was going to say, your eyes were a little bit red when I came in. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but I mean, I'm looking forward to uh, new adventures that, uh, that arise. Oh, nice. Whanau, catch up with whanau a lot more. Oh, I think when I first got back, spending quality time with uh, the family started uh, pretty quickly until I uh, got itchy feet and said, oh, right, I've got to go for a dive. <laughs> <laughs> so, but to us, try and spend as much time with the family as possible. Favourite memories from the All Blacks, bro? Hit me. Uh, I guess there was a few, obviously. The first one was my debut uh, in 2004. Oh, I thought it was 74. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh come on now. I'm not that old. Um, but yeah, that was pretty special because uh, I was able to uh, make my debut, but my, what made it more special was that my brother and my sister-in-law were able to see me uh, debut in, in the black jersey, which is awesome. Um, probably my 50th game um, uh, in the opening game in the uh, World Cup 2011. Um, probably drinking out of the uh, Rivers Low Cup. A few Aussie boys that I've played against over the years haven't been uh, yeah, lucky enough that, to yeah, do that. Yeah, but, awesome. uh, that's definitely one of them and uh, I guess lifting the uh, cup in 2011 with the Cup. boys. Unbelievable bro. Massive and awesome career. Okay. Some of the boys aren't going to like this, but uh, who was your worst roomie? Oh, I wouldn't say he was my roomie, but he'd always come into my room. Uh, would probably be Izzy Dag. Oh. Izzy would always come into the room because uh, he'd always want to hang out with, <laughs> want to like hang out Izzy. with, hey, yeah. wants to hang out with uh, Corey Jane all the time. Yeah. So uh, he would come into our room and end up staying there a few times. Oh, Izzy, yeah. So he was uh, wasn't my roomie, but he'd come into my room and make it uh, messy. The Haka, you led the Haka a lot for the All Blacks. So how good was that? Oh, yeah, it was pretty special. Like Spine a, tingling. You used to do it, the poo cunner. Oh, Unreal. No, I just enjoyed trying to express myself, uh, you know, within the Haka and uh, what it meant to myself, you know, playing traditional games. Probably against Palmy boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TA? TA? Yeah. yeah. I don't think you guys won for a while, oh, come mate, on, for man. about 100 years oh, or something oh, like that. Palmy boys, mate, oh, we didn't joke. Um, but yeah, that's where it all started for me, doing traditional um, uh, games and doing And the being Māori as well in the oh, All Blacks, so exactly. real late to be able to do that. So it was very special. Um, I'd always want to sort of uh, be the ugly guy at the front, uh, get Richie to do it, but Richie was like, no, nah, no, nah, you do it. I was like, oh, come on, bro. Oh, man, it'd be a massive <laughs> honour to, to do that. Oh, it was be awesome. Unreal. So, Pity, rugby's taking you all over the world. Where is your favourite place? Mate? What did you enjoy the most? Rome. Rome? Yep. We played our, our, my first ever tour in 2004. Uh, we went to Italy, Rome, or Roma, and um, I just absolutely fell in love with the place. I uh, told Wayne Smith that I don't want to... Um, Come uh, home. Oh, I just wanted to stay there. <laughs> We're supposed to go to... Uh, well, I was supposed to debut the next week uh, in Wales, but I said to him I don't want to go. Oh. Just, uh, I guess the history behind the buildings over there uh, was the main one because, like, obviously New Zealand's 
not as uh, you know older in terms of the structures and buildings that they have over there. So just fell in love with everything. It looks amazing. I've got to go there. I've only seen it on photos, in photos. So it, you know, it could be a little personal obsession of my own to get over there and give it a go. Um, a lot of downtime in the All Blacks and playing. What, what sort of stuff did you get up to? PlayStation? What? Oh. PlayStation out then? <laughs> oh, Sega. Sega? Oh, yeah, Sega. Sega, Sega, Master Sega Master Master Atari. <laughs> nah, uh, a few of the boys enjoyed uh, PlayStation. Like uh, the boys that really enjoyed uh, NFL, uh, basketball, and stuff like that. So, But not myself. I played more, go out and play a bit of golf uh, oh, nice. with a few of the boys. Uh, try and challenge uh, my worst roomie, Izzy. He's got a pretty good swing on him. Yeah, he's pretty good. Um, but yeah, more, most of the time it's either go on uh, our days off to explore or golf, and then if we're at the hotel, just kick back and try and be the best card player on the team. White Crockett's been trying to say that he's number number one uh, card player on the team, but we all know that he's. I had the pleasure of playing a few cards with the boys, but you know, they were no match. It was a bit, a bit easy for me up there, and I had a, had a few games with the boys. I won all of them. Must have been the glasses, I used them the whole time, so... Uh, no reflection mm -hmm. of your cards at all? To no, show no, not these ones, not these ones. Oh, the other ones. Yeah. Who was your biggest rival? So you'd have played a lot of players over your years, and who was the biggest rival that you knew? Man, this is going to be a hard game. I need to have my stuff going, yeah? Probably, yeah? Always, always, <laughs> always. <laughs> uh, probably against... My, my, when I first started playing, it probably would have been uh, George Gregan. Um, you know, he was quite intimidating in terms of, well obviously being Australian and uh, you go up against him, uh, he's quite a talented man and then uh, Got once... Ver any verbal oh, up there? Any, any, not, any, not so much any bad, talk, bad any banter. banter, it's more yeah. like uh, telling you, you know, he's basically calling things before I even done it even though I was going to do it and I'm like no I'm not but really I, I was going to do it. So uh, you know that was kind of, kind of in, intimidating uh, at the start but then you get used to it and uh, just got on with playing footy, but then after that was probably Will Guinea. Oh, uh, yeah, really yeah. enjoyed playing against him. He's a great player, so. So what what sort of stuff did Gregan say, like when you, oh, he's going to pass? Oh, that's box kick, normally, oh, watch oh, him, oh, he's going to run. Oh, okay. um, so you know, just say. little things like that. Mm. Oh, yeah. Do you catch up with uh, any of the other players still, like some tight mates from the ABs you still uh, liaise with? Yep. Still a uh, lot of liaison going on? Basically caught up with uh, Rodney a couple of weeks ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who's, uh, he's standing around here, right? Yeah, he's uh, coaching the uh, assistant coach for the Wellington Lions. And the X-Men. Well, he was with the X-Men, yeah. yes. Um, I keep in touch with Ma'a, Namir Tialata, uh, Luke McAllister. Okay, Pity, just before we finish, it's been wonderful. Uh, we're going to get into William Whitehall's Fast Five. Okay, yeah? Okay, yeah. you got to have the glasses on, mate. For this one, for this one. So you get 0 0.05 seconds to answer each question. First thing that comes to your head, yeah? Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Finally, give it your breast. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'm nervous. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Wide it up a bush or all blacks? All black. <laughs> First test cap, last test cap. Last. This is a music one. How bizarre or white or? Oh, white or? Oh. Nah, we're done. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I look, my kids are like on repeat. I'm like, oh, yeah. can we change to the next one? Nah, okay. It's Where we go? It's a bloody beauty. Number four, hunting or diving? Oh, diving. Oh. I, I thought I knew you, man. <laughs> you know, you think you know someone. <laughs> Alright, finally. The best haircut. Brendan Leonard or George Gregg? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Harry. <laughs> Brendan Leonard? Oh, I don't know, it's a, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. That was a beauty, mate. That was a beauty. Perfect. <laughs> Well, <laughs> well done, mate. Well done. That was a great effort. <laughs> <laughs>